Okay, guys, for the morning time, I paused the journal. I said, if sad, calm down and get better because usually when I get sad, um, I basically stay, it basically makes me mad and then um, I get angry and I take my anger out on other people. So I'm gonna, um, if I get sad or this even means angry or mad, calm down and um, not try to take it out on other people is basically what I mean. So I'm gonna do the nighttime one later. It's on, it's on. Hello everyone, it's your boy Jordan, aka We Lit, and welcome back to We Lit Brother 1. We got a monumental moment coming up, as you guys can see the, the background. You can see over there, right there, you already know what's going on. Not me, not me, not me. You got the wrong idea, and not, not me, you got the wrong idea. My brother, he's 23, 24, I'm sorry, 24. Don't be getting the wrong idea up in here. You, you, don't, you don't know what these hands could do, you don't know what these hands could do. But yeah, guys, today is my brother's um, gender reveal party, and we're only having the regular amount of family over, but I'll see you guys after I'm done doing piano. Guys, so I'm in my backyard, and on my shirt, I have a boy and a girl. My shirt's only blue because I went to school with this blue shirt. It wasn't because I wanted to be a boy. I don't really care, so I put blue and green. So, girl and boy, and I don't really care what we get, but I'm going to be happy either way. So, they're about to do this, guys, and here they go. Boy, if you don't uh, Andre it. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, guys, I wasn't able to record any more of the gender reveal party because we had family come over and a lot of people don't like to be recorded. But I got the stuff where um they hit the um the baseball and um so I'm glad I got that in the clip, guys. But now we're gonna react to the brand new Diary of a Kid animated. Movie trailer, I'm really excited. I haven't seen it yet, so let's react to it. Okay, guys, so I thought this was going to be released in theaters, but apparently it's coming only to Disney+. Plus. But let's react to the trailer, guys. I'm really excited because I grew up on these books. If you guys seen the book um tour or my book collection, I have all the books. So I grew up on these books. So let's go with um this one. First of all, this is a journal, not a diary. Tomorrow is the first day of middle school. Luckily, I'm not alone in this middle school thing. I've got my best friend, Rally. Here's what you need to know. Watch where you sit on the first day of school. Don't use it, the bathroom on the second floor. And finally, don't get the cheese touch. Because if you do, you might as well be dead. Oh, thank you, Roderick, for that wonderful pep talk. We're out of our league here. Maybe my mom can homeschool me. Pretty sure I'm gonna be in therapy over this. We're in middle school now. Don't you think it's time to start acting our age? I walk in like, how do you do? I just feel a little better with an attitude. There! Frankly! Wanna see my secret freckle? I'm like permanently scarred from that night. Look at these little nerds. I'll pass their bedtime. Busted! Surrounded by morons. If you just stick with me, everything will be fine. Ah! Oh, sorry. I, I thought you were teenagers. Are you all right? You're all right. So, guys, um, when the first movie, the um, live action, came out in 2010. I was um, just starting school, and I didn't really connect with the characters until, like, way later on. But with this movie, it's coming out when I'm in 10th grade, so I can connect more to the characters. Even though I'm not in middle school like they are, um, I'm still in school, and I'm still, like, in, I'm still um, past the age of being in elementary school, which they are. They're in middle school. <clears throat> so I feel like I can connect more with um, the animated characters than I could with the live-action characters, because they're... Um, that was a long time ago. This is 2021. And um, this animated movie, it's um, 
based off the first book and um it changed it changed some things from the first book and it also changed some things from the live action one too but i can't wait to watch it i'm really excited and i'll see you guys when i'm doing something else so, okay, guys, it's a little bit later, and I'm going to show you guys how to make the best ramen noodles. This is my favorite. I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients, so let's go get them, guys. So, first, you're going to need some chicken or some beef ramen, but I recommend doing chicken for this recipe. And here's the back. This is the orange packet. Okay, guys, the next thing you're going to want to need is a slice of cheese, some red hot hot sauce, some garlic salt, some pepper, and a bowl. So try to get not a very small bowl, get a big bowl so you can put the ramen in the bowl. But let's go make this guys, here we go. Okay everyone, it's voiceover time. So we're gonna open up these ramen noodles and we're gonna put it in the bowl right here. So you do it like this. And this, we can't be making it dry so we need to put some water in it. And don't mind my dishes in the sink. I'll take care of that later. But we need to put some water in it. And then once we do that, we're going to put it in the microwave for six minutes. So it's not all hard and stuff. Because in three minutes, they'd be lying about that. Because if you just do three minutes, it makes it hard. So six, zero, zero, six minutes. Okay, guys. So I'm draining the water. Don't drain all the water because um, if you have a little bit of water, the cheese kind of makes like a cheesy, creamy um sauce in your noodles. So now we're going to put everything together so we're gonna do the seasoning packet first so here's the seasoning packet I had to go grab it that's why it took me a minute so we're gonna shake it up make sure we get all of it out and we're gonna rip and I need to rip some more because it didn't come out that time So I'm going to stir everything at the end. So next we have the cheese. I guess I have the cheese touch now. <laughs> uh. And that other piece can just stay over there. This is, a, this is enough cheese. Put it in the ramen noodles. Next we're going to put our hot sauce in. <clears throat> Sorry I had to clear my throat. And I use a lot of hot sauce. And even after using a lot of hot sauce in it, make the noodles really spicy. It really didn't. It was just perfect. Then we're going to put pepper in it. And then we have the garlic powder. And this is our garlic salt. You can use garlic powder. You can use garlic salt. I just started using garlic powder and garlic salt. I used to not use it at all. But now we're going to mix it up. So once we mix it, the cheese and all the stuff combined is going to make like a creamy, cheesy sauce around the noodles. Got that one hand action. So I would recommend actually using garlic salt. Garlic powder makes it taste a little weird, but it's still not bad. But if you guys want it to be really, really good, use just use garlic salt. Because that's what I used and it was really, really good. So this is what the noodles are supposed to look like once you're done. But not that cheese on the border. You hide that. And now it looks presentable. It looks really good. It looks amazing. Now we're going to go taste it, guys. Okay, guys. It's now time for the taste test. So here we go. I haven't had this kind in a while. Because the last one I did was beef. So here we go. Ooh. Now that's how you do some noodles, guys. But I'm really thirsty, so I'm going to go get something to drink. And I'll see you guys when I'm doing something else. 10 out of 10. Okay, guys. So this is, I got to tell the truth. And just because something didn't go my way doesn't mean um, I got to not post about it, guys. But I got mad a couple of times. So next time I need to do better because there was a couple of times I got mad and took down other people. And um, I, I'm sorry for that, and next time I'm going to try not to do that, because I got mad, and then I was, 
um, yelling at my brother because of me being mad. So next time, I just want to stay calm, not try to get mad, um, and just make the situation better than I mean, make the situation better than it was. So yeah, so I didn't meet this goal today, but that's okay because I can reflect from it and do better, and that's what my positive journal is all about. But I'll see you guys um, when I'm doing something else. Okay, guys, it's a little bit later, and I'm just going to go watch a movie, so I'm going to end the video out here, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tomorrow's Saturday, no school, and I have something um, planned tomorrow that I'm really excited about, guys, and I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Goodbye.